so for the last few months, I haven't been using my vegan vegetable knife to prepare my vegetables, and that was the knife that I got from Thomas Lost of Lost Cutlery, the vegan knife maker. And the story behind that is, back a few months ago when the cops broke into my home, they took all of my knives, including my vegan vegetable knife, because only God knows what I would have done if I had kept that particular knife. And after cutting my finger open pretty badly using some of the old shitty knives I was using before, I decided to go out and get a new good sharp knife. And this time I didn't order one from Lost Cutlery, I just ordered one from Amazon. And this is the Kyocera 6 inch Damascus chef's knife. And the interesting thing about this knife is it's not made out of steel, it's made out of ceramic, which gives it some good interesting properties. For one thing, it's very lightweight, it's about half the weight of a comparable steel blade, and it's perfectly balanced with its pack of wood handle, so it's a little bit easier to handle and not cut one of your fingers off. Ceramic knives also don't transfer or absorb any flavors, so you won't be transferring any metallic flavors into your food, and the food you're working with won't be transferred into into the knife. Ceramic is also very easy to clean and maintain. Since this isn't steel, it won't absorb anything into its material. And it's not steel, so it won't rust. You don't have to dry it off immediately after you use it. All you have to do to properly clean and maintain it is just rinse it off with some water, dry it, and then put it back. And arguably, the best quality of a ceramic knife is its hardness. It is much harder than a steel blade, and this is the main reason why I picked up a ceramic knife. It will retain its edge about 10 times longer than a steel blade. Again, making maintenance much easier. You don't have to sharpen it nearly as often. And for those of you with a cannibal diet who eat humans, I know you want a knife that will very easily cut through flesh. Well, is this knife sharp? And of course, I have to demonstrate this on some veggies, so let's go into the kitchen right now and I'll show you how this fares. So my final thoughts on this knife are, I love it. Uh, I love the look of it, it's got a nice Damascus finish, I love the wood handle, it's very light, well balanced, a very, very fine edge, great edge retention, very easy to maintain. The only downsides to it are just in its material, uh, ceramic, uh, the only downside to ceramic is it's very brittle, so if you do drop it from a high place, it does have a potential to chip or break. And if you try to cut through something hard, it is also likely to chip or break. So if you're a cannibal, just only use this on the fleshy part of a human. Don't try and cut through bone. You want to use a bone saw if you're trying to saw through human bone. But uh, yeah, great for vegans, great for cannibals. Uh, highly recommend this knife. You can pick it up on Amazon. And as always, keep making those vegan and cannibal gains. Beef. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.